Okay, now I will show you how to synchronize two sheets using Google Apps Script. So what I have to do is that I want to export this data into Team 2 sheet here. So I will go to uh, Script Editor of Team 2. So I will go to Tools and then I will click on the Script Editor. Okay, I have written a Google Apps Script and I have uh, published it on Google uh, on GitHub so you can copy this script from here. I have provided the link of the GitHub on the uh, in the description of this video so I will copy it and I will paste it here on the Google Apps script. In this script you only have to change these variables and you have to do nothing else on this script. So first of all we have to provide the uh, spreadsheet ID, the ID of the sheet from where we want to import data. So this is the ID of the sheet. So I will copy it, and I will copy it, and I will paste it here. Then I have to provide the uh, sheet name. I will paste it here. Then I will have to provide the sheet name where I want to import the data, and the this time I don't have to provide the ID of this sheet. I only have to provide the name of the sheet. So I will paste it here. Uh, then I will have to provide the required column. So I have to provide the name of the column which we which I want to import. So in this case I want to import the client name, client address, order number and order details. So I will uh, type it here. And then I have to provide the name of the column where I want to import these columns. So in our case, these will be the same in both the variables because both the names are same. But in your case, these may be different. So I will update these uh, variables. Meanwhile, I will pause the video. OK, I have updated the uh, column names. So now I will save the script. Now it's time to uh, run the function. There are different ways in which I can run this function. Uh, one of the ways is to simply click on this play button and it will fetch the data in this sheet. However, uh, I will show you how to set timely trigger, time-based trigger so that it keeps fetching the data after every minute. So I will go into the script and click on the project triggers button. Then I will add the trigger by clicking on this button as the uh, function which we want to import, the name of that function is fetch data, so I will keep it the same. Then I will click on this select event source and I will click on the time driven. Then as I want to uh, run this function every minute, so I will click on the minute timer. You can change uh, it according to your needs. So, and as I want to run it every minute, so I will click on the every minute button. You can select other option as per your requirement. Then I will click on the save button. Then I have to authorize the script. So I will click on the normal procedure, which you may be aware. Else you can see the steps which I am following. Now the trigger has been applied and it will keep running after every minute. So I will, meanwhile, uh, uh, probably it will run after uh, one minute. So meanwhile, I will apply the script on team one. So I will go to team one script editor. Then I will again copy from the GitHub copy the script from GitHub. Then I will paste the script here. Then I will copy the spreadsheet ID from where I want to import data. This time I want to import data from this sheet. So I will copy it. I will paste it here. 
as you can see, after one minute, it have imported the data. This will keep updating after every minute. So coming back to the script, I will then have to provide the script solution. That is the sheet name. I have to provide it here. Again, the sheet name two is the same. Then I have to provide the column names which I want to import. So this time in this sheet, I want to import these two columns. So I will quickly copy them here, copy and paste them here. Then I will copy and paste it here. I will remove it here. I will remove this one. And again, I will update this. And it's also ready. Now, once again, I will save this script. Now, I will put the project trigger once again. I will set it to uh, one minute. Okay, now I will save it. Once again, I have to authorize the script. And then I have to allow it. OK, this one is also ready. So coming back to the sheet, I will update it uh, so that some data is imported there so I will put the time and order status uh, let's say delivered so after one uh, after some time it will import the data here so in order to speed up the process I will simply run the function from here so as you can see it have imported the data. Uh, let's say I add a new data here, CL21. Test customer 2, test address 2, and or 21, test order 2. So now, in order to speed up the process again, I will click on the play button here and as you can see it have imported the data here now if I update the values uh, here and let me update the order status now coming to this sheet I will again run the function from here I am just doing it to speed up the process else uh, as we have set it the time trigger so it will keep running every minute. As you can see it have imported the data from this sheet. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. In case if you have any question then feel free to contact me on my uh, Google Sheets uh, Facebook page or you can contact me on info at gsheets.com. Thank you.